Palkia, bro, Palkia. First round of this week's Series 10 uh, VGC 2021 tournament. I think this is like the biggest tournament that like uh, this format's had so far because we're doing it like the day after they announced the rules. We have over 50 players. So let's see, how do I want to do it? What do I want to do? Huh? What do I wanna, like, can you actually beat like these? Can you beat them? I love that they're using Coco. It's best one. Best of one, best of fun. I actually really like Zern here still. I like Zern here a lot. Alright, let's try these. Alright. So like I said... I hope no one's in chat like looking at my items, looking at my moves, and looking at my stuff like that. That'd be that'd be lame. But I love their team. Cart Coco feels so good seeing those again. Uh, those are Pokemon that just like barely outspeed a lot of other really common threats, like you know, Cart being that 109 base speed, Coco being 130. They just barely outspeed a bunch of the other really popular stuff, and it feels so good to see them again. All right. Yeah, you're gonna like these fire memes. This is a good. Uh, my team's sick today. All right, my team is amazing. All right, Lando Cart. Okay. Yeah, that works. This should be fine as long as we don't get rock slide flinched by Lando. I think we're okay. Is the tournament only today? Yep, it's just today. We could switch out Zern for Pelipper. But I, I think the right play is actually just the Geo. And just fake out the cart. Yeah. Uh, again, as long as we don't get Rock Slid flinched by Lando, we're in a good spot. No Dynamax. Feels amazing, man. Feels amazing, man! U turn, go for it. Weakness policy! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Probably gonna be in Sin. And then I wonder if they have Roar. And so what's really cool here is like, we're gonna be able to, uh, basically the cool thing, there's a couple cool things that can happen in this situation, right? Um, for him, like this is what makes this format kind of balanced. Cause right now I would just Dynamax win the game if there was Dynamax, right? But I can't Dynamax. Um, so in this situation, most players that have this Xerneas would use Protect. You Protect, Block the fake out, win the game. But Incineroar players can outplay that by going for a really, really bulky full HP specialty investment, Roar, right? So you read me protecting you, Roar. That's like, it shows so much potential for like outplay, right? And so in this situation, like I actually don't really care about that cart. Um, I actually think I am just gonna Dazzling Gleam here and go for uh, probably the Muddy Water. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Muddy Water. Because I don't think Cart can one-shot my, my Zern. So we'll see. Again, there's so many different... Like, they can crit me. They could be using, like, a Life Orb Cart. I think it's a Vested Cart on this team. Um, there's a Fake Out, and it's totally fine. Like, I have absolutely no problem with that. Aerial Ace. Cool. Actually, this is good for me, too. Uh, it sucks they take out our Woody Cole. It does suck. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. They have a Lando in the back. Okay, I know I want to play this then. I think we have NDD. I'll oh, definitely bring the Pelipper here. Love Pelipper in this situation. Love this for me. Remember, they still have a Palkia, so I don't actually just want to get dumpstered. But I love Pelipper here. It's so strong. We don't know anything about that cart, but the fact that it has Aerial Ace tells me it's vested. And you actually shouldn't have Aerial Ace on cart anymore. Because um, you can't Airstream. But I will D-Gleam. Hopefully it does KO. I think I actually have to double into the cart. Because D-Gleam should just KO the cart, but like, we want this to go like this. I don't think they have Roar because I think they would have used it. The last mon should be Palkia. Dazzling them, go for it. I'd love to KO the cart here. 
and then it makes the Scald go into the Incineroar slot, and our Pelipper set should be outspeeding this Incineroar here. And then, what's really cool about this, is that a, is that a Citrus? I still think we KO. Citrus and Sin is still super good. This should still KO. Let's see. Yes. And then the Lando is going to come out. And what's really, really cool about this is like, show me that Lando though. Show me that Lando and I'll show you something sick. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get Lando Palkia. Lando Palkia? There's the Palkia. It's probably Telepathy, so you can Earthquake with it. Yo, Lando's a pretty good ability. Maybe you've heard of it. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called Intimidate. Um, Pelipper is built different, though. Pelipper is built different. Adrenaline Orb Pelipper. Let's go, boys and girls. Let's go. And we can actually tell that that Lando is vested by the fact that it used U-Turn. Normally, they wouldn't carry U-Turn in this situation. So we know that they're vested. So we just go Dazzling Gleam. Uh, my last mod is Entity in the back. And we just Scald the Lando, so we can't protect. So Dazzling plus Scald's going to get it. Dazzle might not kill the Palkia if they're uh, very reduced. But our, our Xerneas also isn't that bulky. Sorry, sorry, it's not that strong. It's very bulky. And so now we outspeed the Lando, right? Unless they're Scarf Lando, but like I don't care about Scarf Lando. If there's some sort of like item that says they probably don't have Protect because we saw you turn. And so like, look how much info. Oh, he has a Protect. Really? So we, that means he's cutting like, he's cutting probably the flying move then. That's fine. They're probably trying to trick me, but like I still don't think they can actually break the, uh, I don't think they can break the Xerneas at this point. They can break the Pelipper though. Hey, it's a good play. It was a trick me here. If they're trick me here, it's a good play. Oh, Thunderbolt. You should just use Thunder, because it's there to check, uh, Kyogre. Hey, that's sick. That's a good play. But they didn't trick her. Should be using Thunder. Poor Pelipper. Never lucky. You, you want to style? Should we just style? We could style on this guy so hard right now. Is that Palkia AV? It might be. Our Xerneas isn't that strong. So, uh... I should just use D. I'll just use D Gleam. It might be Sash Lando. Could also just be Sash Cart. I'm just gonna go double D Gleam. It'll be fine. A link to my skateboard YouTube channel. Um, can someone link that? Can one of, like, my mods link it or something? I'll, I'll do it. I'll take time. I'll, I'll do it. D Gleam's up. Single target. Fairy or boosted right now. Give me one sec. I'll find the skateboard channel. Skateboard channel link is right here. Earthquake. Never heard of it. What's that? I want to let me send that there. There you go. Perfect. And then we just win. Cool. Cool beans. All right. Yeah, we take those first wins. Got a cool team. But, like, you can tell, like, the potential for outplay was there for us, like, the whole time. I do like his team, though. But, like, see how much, like, we're able to, like, analyze the items, moves, and things like that based off just how they're playing. And that's so much harder to do with Dynamax. Let's try these. Let's try these. Yeah, Regilecki's a hard Pokemon to deal with. I think we have potential here. Mamoswine is another Pokemon that's very, very hard to deal with. Uh, but I think we got shots. I think that we have shots, chat. Hmm. I kind of wanted to lead Coco so I could see if that was Scarf Ogre. I thought about it. I thought about leading Coco to see if it was Scarf Ogre. Because they're probably just leading Torn Ogre, right? She not an Ogre. This works. This, this, this works for me. This is perfect. Okay. Thank you for the drizzle. So long and thanks for all the drizzle. Grass fairy, good typing. Volk's good, yeah. Yo, thank you so much, Ben. That was a great game. Thank you. 
Now let's see what this... Uh, if it's Scarf Ogre, it's Scarf Ogre. I thought about fake outing it, but like if we basically... If we trade Coco and some chip damage on our Ludi for their their max Ogre, like that's... Or not max, but like Scarf Ogre, that's great. We're drawing Ogre. All right, all right. Torn, okay. So you can Hurricane me next turn. That's actually doing a lot. Yeah, it's going to do a lot. I want to see if he spores here. That thing gets spore, right? Spore, awesome. Do I do fear battles? I do sometimes. Show me that ogre. Mammo. Bro, that's so sick. I can't believe they did that. That's really weird to see that actually. Why wouldn't you just tailwind or hurricane? That's really, really weird. That's super weird actually. I think that's super weird to hard to put your mammo in there. It's okay. Better than nothing. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you can. That's why I did it. So we know they have these two plus Torn Ogre in the back. Let's see what the Mammo's using. It's probably like Icicle Crab. Okay, cool, cool. That's great. You can stop till the cows come home, buddy. You're gonna be there a while. <sighs> Rain Dish gets its health back. It's a good set. I think it's cool. I think it's a cool way to play that thing. Electric Train makes it a little bit hard. That's why I wanted to save the Coco. Like, it's Leftovers plus Rangers. That's super sick. So where does this sound? I think that, like... There's two ways I can play this right now. I can go Fake Out plus Muddy Water. But I actually think the right play is to hard switch in my Xerneas and go for the Fake Out. Because if he protects here, then we just Encore it. Encore lasts three turns. Muddy Water plus Expanding Force would probably get the KO unless he was vested as well. I could also just Leaf Storm it, I guess. But I also, this resets my rain, so like Woody Cole is still really good. Are you protecting? If you're protecting, I just won the game. Okay. Damn. But that breaks Potential Sash, which I like. Can't be asleep for four turns, that's not how the game works. Three, it's a max of three. Struggle for String Shot, it's up to you. This is the last turn of Encore. He's probably gonna be able to take out my Raichu this turn. I think that's okay though. There's no reason to hit that. Switch out the right shoe here. Ah, oh, man, this is a hard game. Want to reapply our fake out pressure while still having the ability to like encore if we want. Really like these double encore teams of mine. Like I like the double encore, double sorts of speed control. Like we've been playing this game for like seven or eight turns, almost uh, almost like I think it's the fifth or sixth turn right now, and no one's gotten a KO yet. Yep, that's why we switch out there. It's a lot of damage. That's a free Geo. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, we're just going to Encore it in the sub again. G 
Geo's up. Let's go Xerneas. Never letting that thing on. Like, never letting that that Genotic like get something. So rain stopped. I think you have to dazzle. I don't think that's vested mammo. But like, why would it have? Why would it have ice shard? Be rage powders. Okay, he didn't. It's awesome. Cool. I didn't know what that mammo set was. Vested mammo could have lived. Yeah, he could. He could stay using sub all game. I don't give a shit. <laughs> he could. He could stay using substitute. That's fine with me. Send out the ogre. Like we check those. Send out uh, torn. Set tailwind. Like we take those too. We're doing pretty good. There's the torn. I'm gonna go for that. I'll definitely go with the torn. He's gonna get a tailwind up, and I think we're just bringing Raichu to go for fake out after. So we just hard switch in Raichu. He has tailwind up, but then we'll have to protect. And then we'll Heartsword and Coco fodder it, then switch back and Raichu. Raichu at plus two outspeeds Ogre at plus two. There's a Tailwind. Yep. I could have also Encore that Torn, sticking it into only being able to Tailwind and wasting its Tailwind turns by Moonblasting the Sheenotic. But this is completely fine. I just want to have my Fake Out turns up. So right now we still have like Fake Out turns, which is really, really good. And we can still Encore. So basically what's cool about this exact situation is we can Encore the Sheenotic again. And we also have the potential to like switch out for Coco and stuff like that. I think we're gonna be I think we're gonna be okay. Still kinda anybody's game. But we'll see. Xerneas is super thick right now. We don't want to get crit by a water spot. That's basically how we're playing it right now. Last turn of Encore there. Bunch of turns left on that tailwind. Yeah, we're gonna go for the Moonblast over here. Awesome. Cool. That's great. Water Spout's gonna be super weak now if he ever wants to go for it. Go for a Moonblast. This might not KO, depending on how bulky they are. Awesome. We got a crit. Take those. I actually don't know if I wanted the crit, because like I wanted to know how bulky it was, but now we can just uh, re-encore forever and win the game. Re-Encore forever and win the game. Encore's best move in the format, I've been telling you guys. Encore busted, getting those four stocks. You just reapply it, he scoops. We take those. Whew! Pokemon's fun. Oh man, it feels actually like really good to be able to play the game again. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm able to play the game and like position and get correct speed control and use correct status moves and my opponent can't just herp derp click a random Dynamax button and invalidate everything. Like, I feel like I'm peeling off layers of like PTSD from Dynamax where it's like they just Dynamax the wrong Pokemon at the worst time for me. Knowing that they can't and if they ever protect, I'm gonna encore that. Like, that's good. Shedinja is so good versus my team. I can't hit it with like half my mons. I cannot hit Shedinja with like a wide variety of my mons. Shedinja is so good in these restricted formats. I love that person's team. I love that team. Let's see. Potential for Pledge. Fake out. Scarlet Trap for the Roars. I know what I need to bring to beat this, but we'll see if I have the tools to do it. Because Shedinja is kind of a problem, but like, we'll see.
There's a couple different ways to beat Shedinja too that this team can do. But I just gotta know that like I can't switch, so that's gonna make this a lot harder than I want it to be. Ditto does copy abilities. Is everyone on your team a special attacker? Probably. Special attacks are good. <laughs> special attacks are really good in this format. What are they going to do? Put up a light screen? I'll just encore it. And then they have a Pokemon down. Okay. I think we're gonna, I think we're fighting Parish right now. No, I don't think we need any mechanics like that. I think the format's more fun without it. I don't want to get Parish right now. All right, there's a fake out in my Zern. Yep, we trade fake outs. That's completely fine. I'd rather trade fake outs um, because now, you know, I, I actually think it's like the right play to uh, double in here. I'm so good at Pokemon. How many, how many, who else is good at Pokemon? It's just me, right? It's just me? Yeah, that's right. It's just me. Just to make sure, in case it was like uh, something different. Yep. Where are you looking? Parish trap user? Not in my house, okay? And we did that just in case they were like, like super bulky, not vested because they were Parish. But like, I'll, t I'll take that. Incendiate your Zacian. I can't switch, but like, I can probably get away with a couple other things. Like, I, I don't even know if Xerneas dies to the Behemoth Blade, as weird as that sounds. This is a weird look when play, but there's a reason for it. I don't know if Zern dies to this Behemoth Blade. I think if they're adamant, we're dead. We're probably just dead anyways. Okay, so. that's fine. I could have protected it, but I think this is a I wanted to get a different mod on the board. So now he's stuck using Behemoth Blade. Hypnosis? The blind hypnosis hits. Never lucky me. Never lucky. That's a plus one. It's alright. Okay. Blind hypnosis. Straight villain out here. If that would have missed, we would have won the game. Because we double on Azashi and didn't get the KO. It's fine. Ludico can't wake up this turn, but it can wake up next turn. Yeah, if he's ally switching, he's not using, um, what is it, the good move. <laughs> yeah, Rob Hypnosis hurts. It's not gonna do as much as he thinks. It's gonna do a lot, but not as much as he thinks. I'd love a burn. Burn it! Bro, you hit me with a double Raw Hypnosis? That's game, we just lost. So we can't get a burn, but he can. we can get double raw hypnosis. That's fair and balanced. Fair and balanced gameplay. Love to see it. Yeah, I think we, I think we almost had it. Um, we outplayed them super hard turn one. Raw hypnosis, Gothitelle. Like, they ally switched us turn one. Ally switched turn one. And then hit us with two hypnosises. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, you, you say Xerneas never survives Behemoth Blade, but, like, it actually can. Because not not all Zacian should be running full attack right now, because you don't need it. And so, uh, my Xerneas is full HP defense, so it actually can live. Actually can. Yeah, let's see what we got. 
I like Pelipper's leech. They have Lando and Sin, so Pelipper's great. Uh, if they want to go Rilla, like, we're fine. Um, if they want to go Urshfu, we're okay. If they want to go Zacian, I think we have shots. Pelipper's pretty decent versus a lot of those things. So we'll see. Zacian's still a hard sell for Xerneas, but, uh, you know, the rest of our team should be okay. There's not still time. It's already started. It started about half an hour ago. Hmm. What do you think they're leading with? Do you think they're leading Zacian? I think they're leading in Sin or Lando. Rilla or Urshifu, not what I expected. I have a much higher fake out speed. Oh, it's Water Shifu. Yo, that's fine. That's fine. Water Shifu's garbage here. I like this play a lot. Watch this. No, it doesn't look like that. Gotta do it like this. I was gonna go with the wide guard play, but you can mix it up and go for grassy glide. Yeah, we'll see what he does. They shouldn't be Koba in this format because there's not that there's no airstream, so there shouldn't actually be a reason to be Koba right now. We'll see. We'll draw, of course. I don't know. I'm getting. The last two games I've fought, I've gotten major vibes where people take the full timer after I walk in my moves and talk about it. Which is unfortunate. You know? Close combat the Ludi, yeah. See, like, I could have just, I could have just done that straight into your Urshifu, though. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I think it's like... I get major vibes from it. They just watch what we do. This is why we can't have a good time. It's just why it's just why we can't have a good time. Is there any is still the right play though? Yeah, they're in the chat. I can see them. Ah, it's whatever. Don't burn. Never lucky. That turn, I waited too long, so they couldn't do it, by the way. down. The thing is, they still have like, really good mom in the back. And Arilla coming out. Don't know anything about the Urshfu set, but it's probably sashed. <sighs> the thing is, like, no one, well, then no one will watch the stream. <laughs> you know, no one will get to watch the stream that way.
I know this looks like the worst play, but it's the right play. Um, because he's gonna fake out and surging strikes my Zern. And like protect wouldn't give me anything. Oh my god, we take those. There's a way to do it, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, Geo's up. Suck our Pelipper got fake out of though. I guess I'll ra I'd rather take a Geo to be completely honest. Common's viable, I would say. No, I'm not doing that. That's that's like using uh, outside of game mechanics. I don't want to do that. What do we do? Yeah, the rain is still like we have to basically just hope that's not Sash or Shifu, but it will be. Because you can't protect the surging strikes. Because it's Urshifu. Withdraw. Go for it. Whoa. Whoa. Sin. Okay. It's just going to grass you guys. It won't KO me. And now I outspeed Urshifu. I don't think that's it. Pel into Pelipper! Bro, you don't like Pelipper? Why not? Pelipper's a cool dude. Probably gonna power pinch. Yeah, it's fine. Pelipper is not my second favorite mom, but I do like Pelipper. Yup. Shouldn't KO. This is no Dynamax format. You're correct. You are correct. I don't think Aqua Jet takes me out. They protect here. They're just giving me another. Uh, they they have to try and crit my uh, Xerneas with an Aqua Jet. I think. But we thick. Even crit would have done it. They were Sash. They should just. They should just soaked it. Oh, we played to our outs. Pelver busted. Man, I gotta get, I gotta get out of my own head when I play these tournaments, cause like I get in such a bad mood. I get in such a bad mood. Like, just look at it from my perspective. Like, I'm playing the game. Opponent makes a crazy play turn one, and I'm like, wow, they did that after taking the full timer. So either they did one of two things: either they're in the chat watching, which they are in the chat. I can see them in the chat, um, or they just took a really long time to make a good play. Would you lean more towards? The second option, thinking they made just a really good play by taking the full timer, or I can see them in the chat, you know, <laughs> seeing what moves I pick. You know, I, I can see, I saw their name. So it's like, and then I just get tilted, you know? And so I start taking longer turns, That's right. start getting salty. But like, why are they in the chat? You know? Like, see, like, I don't know if they were sniping though. The thing is, like, they probably just made a really, really good read. But they're also in the chat, so like, what am I supposed to, as, a, as the streamer, what am I supposed to do? You should just, yeah, you should just close the stream when it happens. Kurem White! 
Ooh, Swazzle. Uh, yeah, we, we fought Torn Ogre earlier. It was our second game. Indeed. Hmm. Yo, Demo's gifting a sub. Sub gifts up. Yeah, this guy's team's cool. I don't see a situation where, like, Indy Zern doesn't just win me the game, though. Indy Zern with, like, Pelipper potential switch in. And might as well just bring Woody then. Let's go. Woody's gonna be hard to use because there's, like, a towel flame, but, like, we're gonna have Psychic Terrain, so it'll be alright. Yeah, whoever I fought last round, that player was super good. That was good stuff. But yo, thank you for the sub gift. I appreciate that. Alright, let's see it. Salazzle Talonflame. Yo, they, they want those tailwinds for days. They can have the tailwinds. I don't even need them. I have my like in Series 10. So believe it or not, like I actually like it like a lot. Yo, Haru's gifting a sub too. I like it a lot. Um, it feels good to actually play the game again, and as weird as it sounds, like, I kind of didn't hate Series 8. I know you, you know I hate, like, dual restricted, like, I hated 2016, I hated 2019, but the one restricted, like, I kind of, I kind of like it. I, I liked Series 8 towards the end especially. But, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm having a good time. It's also just the first day. I'm sure that something's gonna happen. Yeah, Series 8 was legit not horrible. I feel like Series 8 was almost, almost comparable to, like, Ultra Series, which, like, could kind of be seen as a fun format. Like, Ultra Series is better than, like, Sun and Moon. Because it, it rewarded correct board positioning. That's what I really liked. Like it on paper, it should have been bad, but it wasn't. Yeah, so I 100% I agree. Did he sludge wave me? Bro. That's lit. Yo, Doom gifting a sub as well to Phoenix. Yo, subs up. Holy moly. Subs up. Kieran White can check Zashian though. Has that fusion flare. Just got scarf it. Alright, did he tailwind me? I was not even looking at the board. He had to have tailwind me, right? No. What the hell move did he use? What did the talent flame do? Give him back. Alright. Yo! Raptuary! Subscribe to tier one as well! I'm doing this. They can't stop me. Thank you. Protect? Thank you. Sub, sub. Oh my gosh, you guys are way too kind. I gotta, like, look at the board. There's a Tailwind. Can't stop that. I can't stop the Tailwind. He could, he could have it. Sludge Wave? Bro. Well, I don't get... Is, okay, there's the Sludge Wave. I was like, I was like, he's gonna Sludge Wave his Talon Flame? Oh, we're about to be taking these. My entity is ready. Now my NDD is so ready right now. Do you see it? <laughs> Yo. Yo, let's go. D Gleam. D Gleam. Nice resisted Pokemon. Protect? I bet. I wish I had expanding force. Yeah, he's still fashion us, but like we have to spadef boosts right now. Fairies up. No crits, please. That doesn't do anything. We're going to KO this Salazzle here. Yo, Haru's gifting two subs. Oh my gosh, two big ones. The two big subs. Is that vested Salazzle? Bro, I didn't think I didn't see that coming. Two subs though. That's sick. Two big subs. Holy moly. Oh man, this is bad. Do I have any videos on how to breed EV Ivy Train Pokemon? Uh, not really. That's not normally my jam. I think I'm just gonna do that, dip out here, and then Woody Colo can fake out or something like that? Withdraw Talon Flame, go for it. This guy's playing really well, actually. Torkoal, though! That's, I think that's Vested Salazzle. It's sick. Heat Wave? Bro, where's your son? Yo, Indy busted. Sorry if people stop it. Yo, what happens? Thank you. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I do like this. Slazzle's sick. Don't miss. Oh, he missed on Zern. Yo, we take those. Yeah, he goes down. That's totally fine. We're probably going to lose Zern here, but then we have, like, really, really good mons in the back. Maybe. We might have really good mons in the back. Yo, they're bad. They're, like, 1 HP. Never oh, they're the weakest eruption anyone's ever seen. Zern thick. The weirdness dissipates. It's time to execute plan of attack operation. Ludicolo win the game, please. All right. If they protect, I'm so sad. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Salazzle's sick. Yeah, I love Salazzle. Bro, I'm about to Geo again. Nah. <laughs> so they have these two plus Talonflame Kira. And they're going to want to reapply that... Uh, Tailwind, but oh my gosh, we take those. Oh, it feels so good. They brought like three fire types that just gleamed him down. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, Gloom is the right play just in case they switched out something. Alright, so you have Talon Flame. Show me that cure on white, alright. Moody Colo is so good. Moody Colo is a cruise control for cool right now. This is the last turn Tailwind, right? Are they out or are they out of Tailwind turns? I don't actually remember. There's the Talonflame. I can't stop that one. There's the Kyurem. I think this is their last Talon turn. Yeah, that's right. This Zerdy has been hanging on for dear life. Alright, they're out of Talon turns. Sick. If I go Moonblast into the Kyurem. I need Moonblast, by the way. Moonblast into the Kyurem. And they go protect. Kill me there. I sent there an encore. Yep. I'll be putting this team on Patreon for sure. Yeah. It's a cool team. It has a hard match versus like Zati, Zashi and Goth. But I think it's a really cool team. Hopefully KO here. Yeah. I say hopefully. I like my Geo Zern. Hopefully it KOs the dragon type. Um, let's see who's going after. Tailwind. There it is. Yeah, it was probably Spexed. And uh, Woody Colo from downtown. Muddy water all day. We'll be taking those. That was hard, actually. <laughs> that was kind of hard. That, that Salazzle almost worked me over. Almost worked me over. What a cool team. Uh, I always like for game twos and rematches. I always like to play a game that's a little bit more... I like to play it a lot more patiently in game two. So like if I win game one, I'm the type of player that like, I'm gonna try something completely different and kind of try and like steamroll it over a little bit. Um, but we'll see. So like I said, we won the first game and uh, you know, we were over respected the cart, dealt with the Palkia correctly. Um, I think for like game two, I'm gonna try just a completely different lead because I know for a fact in game three, I could do it in game one, you know? It, or I could do something completely different. But in game two, they're going to be respecting what I did in game one, so I'm using a different combo. I wonder if they're going to be leading with Cart. I think it's going to be Lando or Sin as the lead, and I think I'm really going to get that Adrenaline Rope proc from my Pelor from being a big bully. This is totally fine, too, because we have Fake Out. Hmm. Let's see. I could just protect. I bet I underspeed that Palkia. I think that this one shots. I'm just gonna go for the fake out. Cause I can always do it next turn and if they protect I can just Encore. That's better. Yep, it's better. What's cool about this is like Xerneas doesn't really care about eating a electric terrain thunderbolt. I don't really care. There's the flinch. Trick room? Spatial Ren, not gonna have it. Oh, they're hitting the they're hitting the other one. They ignored my boy. They ignored my boy. Alright. Um if yeah, they have taunt, they have taunt. See, I think this can just KO, though. I 
think this just KOs. I don't think it's vested. Hopefully this KOs. I wanted to encore the Palkia and a Spatial Rend. But we'll see if this just KOs. Woody Colo busted! Look how busted Woody Colo is! It's so good! Ah, it's so good! Love this guy. T-Bolt! Go for it, Chief! Sounds like a job for Geomancy! Oh, we fought against one goth to tell the hit. They went ally switch turn one and then turn two and three. They went double blind hypnosis and hit both of them. So that's pretty good. Geo's up! And now this is when they bring out their Landos slash Incins. Um, I actually think that, like, I kind of... I want those Intimidate procs to proc my Pelipper, but I think it's just better to bring out the Entity. And just go for a Psych Up. Or follow me. I think I'm just going to follow me, because, like, yeah, I want to stop Roar. And I'm over, I'm over-respecting. Oh, this is great. Candymancer's gifted five tier one subs as well. Candymancer staying on top of the sub gifter leaderboard today. Holy moly. Holy moly. Staying on top of things right now. Let's see. How, so it's these, all these plus, uh, did we see Coco? So we check out the Coco. We haven't seen the last month. It's probably something else. Like, as weird as this sounds, I'm going to protect Geo. No, I'm not. I'm gonna moonblast that Palkia, cause I don't. I'm just gonna double demon. It's fine. Double demon can take it out. I don't care about eating a smart strike. Don't care about eating smart strike. Don't care. Don't care about eating smart strike. It's not the problem. Yep. There's the sash. But thank you. Five more gifted subs. Let's pop it off. Leaf blade. Yo, you read my protect. You read my protect, and I'm like, no. Not in my house. You get spatial render, but like I, I just got off my, my move though. I just do it again. Five gifted subs. Always say thank you. No props. I appreciate that. It's keeping the stream going for one more day. Pelipper, the boy. Yeah, I'm happy to go protect there. This this Zerny is gonna just eat a smart strike in the face. I was good. Have happy that. So always, always. That's as I'm trying my best to be less salty. Yeah, but even if they protect and stuff like that, we'll be in a good spot. I'd Tailwind here if Pelipper had it, but this one doesn't. But I think we got it. I think over-respecting the Coco like we did was the key to winning that matchup. Because I think that Coco had Taunt. I'm pretty sure that Coco had Taunt. Um, and so that's why I went with the exact lead that I did. I think it probably might be Vest on that Palkia. and Because uh, like it shouldn't have just ate that. Uh, it could have been the Illustrious Orb, I guess, and just been really bulky. But like Sash on the cart... Uh, Coco wasn't invested either, so it's hard to say exactly where all their items are, but I think we got it. Randorus, yo, just like last time, show me that Intimidate. Show, show me that Intimidate, though. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Pelipper, finishing blow. Adrenaline Orb Pelipper. This team has Psych Up NDD, Adrenaline Orb Pelipper. Like, there's so many cool mods on this team. There's legit just so many freaking cool mons on this team. You'll love to see it. This is what Pokemon's supposed to be. Lost you again. Sorry, friend! Uh, I, I respected Coco. I respect Tapu Coco. I respected the Sash option because we never saw him on cart uh, until this game. Decent amount of AoE. Do I actually want the Unity? That's a good question. Yeah, you do still want the Unity. Awesome. Let's go! Ah, this is gonna be a hard one. I respect Tapu Lele in this house, okay? I do. I probably should have just led. I probably should have just led with, uh... Oh, yeah, I should have just led with Indy D and had Pelper in the back. I should have just brought Pelper instead of Indy D, too. There's so many different things. Like, this team is so... This team's a lot harder to play than it looks. You can't just lead with, like, one thing and herp derp your way to victory. See, like, if I let Indy, I would be blocking the fake out right here. But I got the Adrenaline Orb proc right now. I got it. I think I know what I want to do here. Adrenaline Orb! I wonder, I wonder why they're leading with Sin. 
this looks like a Roarin' Sin. Roarin' Sin might lose me the game. Eevee's really good. Eevee's a great Pokemon. I wonder if they're gonna set up like a Nasty Pot or something. You shouldn't be Nasty Potting right now. You should not. It's like your Trick Room. <laughs> Expecting me to Geo, like a fake out Pelipper in Trick Room on my Geo? Bro, that would suck. I mean, it's, it's actually fine in Geo. There's the fake out into Pelipper, huh? Okay. Astral Barrage. Nice try. Nice try. Alright, so we know we have these two. Um, Geo's up. Let's go! It's time to da 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 Y guard. Drawing in sin, okay. Lele. Psychic. He's going for an expanding force! Not in my house. Not in my house, you're not. In my house. Not today. Let's go. Y guard. Oh, yeah. Feels amazing, man. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go, Pelipper. Pop it off right now. Best move in the game. Geo's up. This, this team is so sick. So they always have these two plus in Sin. They set the train for us, too. Alright. All we have to do is respect Lele, but we don't know if it's Scarf Lele. Wygar busted. That is correct. Okay. Um, I think the right play is actually just a Moonblast to this Lele. And just ignore the Shadow Rider and just Wygar again. Because, like, it has to use AoE moves or protect. And so like, this is invalidating the Shadow Rider. And if it's Sash Lele, like, I don't really care about a Psy Shock if it's Sash, but I'm, I'm afraid of Scarf or Specs Lele using like a Psy Shock into my Zern. Cause we can always just KO that Shadow Rider whenever we feel like it now. And we always, we outspeed the Insim with our uh, Pelipper as well. What do you think is a good move to set for Wide Guard Steela? So like Protect, Weech Seed, Wide Guard, Heavy Slam is probably the best one. Protect, Leech Seed, Wide Guard, Heavy Slam. Yep, we're drawing Leo for Sin, right? Regilecki. Cool. If I see the Sash here, that's actually going to help me out a lot. Protect, Alex, told you. Told you. I would love to KO here. What if it's Sash? No Sash, please. Yes! So now protects me on cooldown for the uh whatever bro. The Shadow Rider. It's not the Y Guard's the best, it's the Pelipper's the best. There's the Lele. Surprised to see no sin to go. You could fake out my Y Guard. Actually you can't on faster well now. Um yeah. Uh at this point I think that we just do the exact same thing. I don't see a problem with doing that. That Shadow Rider can't hit us right now. Yep, he's literally switching it out. <laughs> I want to see if it's Protect Lele. Because if it's Protect Lele, it completely changes how the how the matchup goes. Thanks for the stream. Yo, thank you! It's like, it is Scar. That sucks. outsped my plus two zern am i built right like what how is that even possible scarf Layla gets that fast doesn't make any sense i have plus two right i don't think it should get that fast yeah you can spam y guard i didn't know that i didn't think Layla got that fast Correct me if I'm wrong, like, that shouldn't happen? Feel free to correct me, like, that seems really weird. Protect? Go for it. 
I want to see what he's using. I want to see if he's roaring. Because like, I'm still going to get my boost even if he is roaring. So it probably barely outspeeds. Yeah, Snarl's great. Oh, he misses on Zern! So they miss on Zern, which means my Snarl copies Zern without the... It, it, you, you see it? Like, so basically I, I don't get the minus on my entity because I'm copying the stats. What I really like about this lead right here, like not this lead, but like this combo, is that like the Dazzling Gloom is boosted by Zern's Fairy Aura too. So it's like super good. So we just double Dazzling Gloom here and we win. See? Plus two. Plus two. Last turn, Psychic Terram. This team has it all. I used the Adrenaline Orb, I used the Wide Guard, and I got away with the Psych Up. This, literally, I did, like, everything this game. The Double Protect, and he gets it. Not that they need it, but they got it. I don't know if we take it. I think we might take out the Instant. It might not go down, though. We'll see. We're plus two. Fairy Aura boosted. Indie D's. Oh, so good. NDD with the damage. Love that for you. It's so sick. 241. It's literally one point faster than my Zern. That sucks. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we got it. Could use Moonblast, I guess. But it was it was sashed on that guy too. That's sick. Literally, my team did everything that it could have in this matchup. Got the Adrenaline Orb, got the Wide Guard, got the Psych Up, like, whoo! Straight cooking right now. I think I'll just chill. Yeah, I think I'll just dip. I'm fine, I'm fine chilling top eight. I think I'm like 30 points behind top one. I think that like there's gonna be people in the 1600s. Um, so I'm fine like with, I'm fine chilling here. Yep, that's fine with me. That's totally fine with me. I'm, I'm down to, I'm, I did my duty.